Hey, welcome back, tubers. As you know, or you may not know, a few weeks ago we got our first hive. Um, it's a European honeybee hive with a little flow topper on, a flow hive on the top, um, a Langstrom, I think. And we've got a few deliveries in the past few days. Um, I got some gloves, some heavy duty gloves, a bee suit, high quality bee suit, a probably very low quality smoker. And we've been to, which shop was it called? Australian Bee Supplies? BP, beekeeping Supplies Australia down in Carroll Park. And we got a bunch of gear from them, uh, about 160 bucks worth. Keep the wife happy, I guess. And she wants to actually do some, uh, what do you call it? Honeycomb. So we've got a bee box for the honeycomb and stuff like that. A whole heap of containers to put the honey in. Now we're not gonna harvest much honey at the moment, but I will take you out the front. We'll um, pull the hive apart, see if we can find the queen, because we don't know if it's actually a queened hive yet, because uh, it was split just before it was brought around here. But it's very active and they're coming and going and there's, there's honey going into the supers there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, first of all, we're gonna have to, we've got a couple of tools here, a hive tool, and we've got the honeycomb thing. I think I've got to heat that one up. We've got to cover that one in oil so we can get the frames. And then we've got a little bee box there. And we've got some foundation, so 10 ideal foundation. And that actually sits right on top of that. And now, if I make any errors, please feel free to uh, correct me because I have no idea what I'm doing. So that sort of goes on top of there. I've got to oil this so it doesn't stick. I've just got, the only thing I've got is some coconut oil. So I, I'm gathering its food grade, so it's not gonna hurt them too much. And then you get your foundation and you roll it on. Now for the first one, we're gonna be leaving that in there. The wax, it'll be a bit thicker, but it'll still work. And then we've been told that we grab, cut these wires here, just put a battery onto it and it heats up the wire and then you can just pull the wire out before you actually harvest the honeycomb. So let's try and make that process look professional, shall we? Okay, put the coffee cup in the microwave to warm up some water a little bit. Open up this. Don't damage it. Now we've had conflicting um, lots of information on how to do this. That smells amazing. So that'll actually have to go on the bottom. I'm gonna get in so much trouble putting oil all over my wife's table. Apparently that goes on there like that. Let's slide it into the top. So I believe. And again, there is a very good chance I'm doing this wrong, but hey, you gotta learn some, some way. And this is how I choose to learn. Oh yeah, the wife's coffee cup is nice and hot with a bit of water in it. Well, yeah, the theory is I should just, you know, heat that up, it melts the wax and pushes that in so it doesn't move. Now theories are good and all. Let's see if that works. Hey, that's hot. Good on your genius, Pete. There was a soldering iron version of this, but I'm not sure. I probably should have got the soldering iron version. Oh, that sticks. That's all you need, I guess. It's not falling out, I guess that's the main thing. Nice and sturdy. What do you reckon? Is that done right? Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. It's like that. You're just gonna walk into my room. I hate how you assume.
leaves and stuff and put that on top. Hopefully that's enough. Just we're using the packing and I've removed all the plastic and the tape from that paper, so. And do you go commando? There's so many questions. So I feel like an absolute twat, but I think I'm gonna be a lot better off for putting a loose kit on. Now my aphorist goes out there and thongs and one of these hat things and nothing else. Um, and I'm like a, in a, some sort of weird space suit. My wife just drove back in, so she's gonna laugh at me. There, what do you reckon? Is this gonna be worth all the effort? We're better off just buying it from Woolies. Let's find out. Nothing on that flow hive, on that flow frame. Oh, that's heavy. Hey, look at that one through the middle it's got this big hole and on the outside it looks full so we can't even harvest that one and that's the one I would have harvested. And the next one's the same. That's really odd. I wonder what that's an indication of. So there's plenty of honey there, so. And that next frame is totally full up. Try not to squish any. Oh, Bobby, look at that one. Okay, that's the frame you harvest. So, second from the end. Which, okay, that's full that side. But they don't like that outside bit. Oh. It's all honey and honeycomb. There's no queen cells, there's no eggs. It's really hard to see. 
I don't think I'm going to look. I'm, I don't think I'm going to find the queen today. This has been my first time. I am dripping with sweat. That's all pollen. There's pollen, no queen cells. cells the queen cells are right down the bottom right down here you can see the big ones oh, okay but there's like a rainbow of pollen but there's no young larvae Well, look, uh, well, it might be a drone. There might be drones. They're much larger, but is that in frame or not? Yep. There's one running around right there, but that might be a drone bee. Yeah, there's a couple of big ones, so I'm going to say they're drones. They're not. They're not queens. Ooh. Larvae. But I don't know how old the larvae is. Now the top left there, I don't know if they're all drone cells or not. Another queen cell at the bottom there. Hanging off the bottom. bunch of larger bees but again I think they're drones one more to go Heap of bees hiding down there. That one looks like a queen. That one right in the middle there. Right there, that looks like a queen. Can you? It's got a pointy tail on it. It's not, it's, it's got a little more shape, more ladylike shape. But again, 
there's still no eggs. There she is down the band, around the corner there. Maybe we do have a queen in that. Okay, well, let's try this again in a few weeks' time. Let's put this back together, give the girls another little bit more room for some more honey. Interestingly, this frame had the most amount of bees on it too, so maybe stands the reason that the queen was hiding down there. And also it's on the south side of it, so maybe running away from the heat. Move that across. Throw this one back in again. Nice and slowly. We throw on Kylie's new top. Just goes on there nice and neatly. Put the door back on here. There we go. Girls didn't even get too pissed off about that. Well, I went completely spaceman on that, but I really don't think I needed to. I think that was a really, really hot experience, if I should be honest. It's, I'm dripping with sweat. Those bees were calm as. I kept getting excited when I th thought I saw a queen. Um, I think a lot of them were drones, but in the end, we found one there that was much slender, like very slender. I'll have to Google it and just have a have a quick look and see whether that is actually a queen or not. Um, but I'm fairly sure I found it there on the last frame. Um, we do have a pen here to marker, but um, April said, just be careful marking her, you might kill her, she might not have been on a mating flight yet or whatever. So I'll just leave it there for another couple of weeks and maybe in four weeks time I'll have another look. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go out there and um, we'll grab a couple of litres of honey because uh, that flow, with a couple of those flow, flow frames are completely full and a lot of them are also falling up. I notice they're not building out on the outside ones. I'm gathering that's just because it's hotter, especially on the one with the little window on the side. There's absolutely nothing there at all. Now they did recommend me, I remember after I closed it up, they did recommend me move it into the middle so they actually build on that one as well. But they've got the super up the top now so they can build that out. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there.
Okay, the result of our very first honey harvest is not that much there, probably about 750 grams, but still happy with it. Just got to filter it out and put it into some containers. Anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. This one's been a bit of a different one. If you liked it, please smash that like button. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.